Hi, this is Lucy and welcome to a No Man's Sky episode. As you can see, the planet I'm on at the moment is not very hospitable. But if you can see in the background, this planet is very useful to me because it has lots and lots of storm crystals. Not only large quantities, but most of them are in groups, so you can pick up to seven at a go. And as I need them to fuel my ship, I visit here quite a lot. Now, it is a very ugly planet, even when there's no storm on. So I wanted a base that was practical and attractive. And a few weeks ago, I saw a post on Reddit from a player that had built a giant mushroom. And I thought that would work absolutely fabulously here. I will post a link down below. It is a fantastic base. However, he said that he played on PlayStation and he did not use mods. That's not quite true. What he did was he took one of these mushroom caps, he flipped it upside down and he resized it. Now, this is what he used for the roof. But as you can see, the maximum resize is not very big. What he did was he asked a friend on PC to, who had a resize mod to drop him a giant wire because you can copy attributes from one object to another and he increased the size of this probably by about 100. So it was 100 times bigger and he used it as the roof for his base for his giant mushroom. I do not have a friend on PC so I wanted to come up with a way of creating this shape without using any mods. Now this is based on a circle and there is wire glitching involved but I have come up with a way to do it without wire glitching and I will show you shortly. So this is the base. I have built this in um, a broken down temple and if you don't know, if you build here, I actually, the first base I ever built in No Man's Sky, I built in a location like this and it was a hazardous planet and I didn't realise, I thought all bases were the same, that you were safe in your base circle. You do not take damage, there is like a protective bubble over this zone, so it made it a bit easier to build. So there's a tip for you. Obviously I've decorated outside, I have my ship and I have my Nomad which I have kitted out with all of the protection modules so I drive around in that and quickly hop out when I want to pick up some storm crystals. Downstairs I have left it quite simple, it is a working camp. I have a teleporter, a trade terminal, I have a large refiner which I've reduced in size and yes it still works. You may wonder why the walls are wet down here and apparently I, f I found this out recently. Sometimes if you have two stories the game does not count it as being indoors. However, if I go upstairs I'm now in a safe zone, despite this also being two storeys high. This is my living area. I was kind of inspired by kind of Bedouin tent sort of idea. There are no, there are windows, but you can't see out because you really don't want to, to be honest. It's not very pleasant outside. I made my own bed. Now the lighting in here is very low key and the reason is because I have fibromyalgia it can sometimes affect the nerves in my eyes and I get really bad ocular migraines that effectively make me go blind. 
Yes, don't ask about all those people dropping grenades in Fallout 76 because they think it's funny. Yes. When we get a storm here, all of these white lights and electronics glare and arc and it can be really difficult on my eyes. So I, I made the upstairs deliberately kind of subdued to counter that effect. So if I'm here and it's bad outside, I can just stare at the wall upstairs and I get no arcing. I will quickly show you. So here we have another storm and as you can see the arcing and the light, oh, I can't even look at it, is very bright down here. I can't, I can't bear it. <laughs> Which is why when I go upstairs there is a bit over here but this side of the room I can just stand here and stare at the wall and uh, not be blinded. So that is why it is uh, very uh, subdued up here. Right, now I will hop over to a paradise planet where I have a little mushroom farm where I have been um, designing and developing my mushrooms and I will show you how I did the roof on this build and how to do a simpler version if you do not want to do any wire glitching. So welcome to Arcadia. This is a paradise planet um, with earth-like features. Unfortunately it has no water it is one of the worlds that we use on Vlad and I's Discord. If you're interested, there is a link down below to our Discord. Please feel free to join. This is a copy of the camp that you just saw. or This was the one I first built. This mushroom and this mushroom here were actually built using triangles, not circles, so hexagons, not circles. So you can create these without any wire glitching. I'll give you a quick close up of the roof here because the light's much better here. This is the round roof like the camp that I showed you a moment ago and I will show you how I created that roof. I have a circle here that I've pre-built. I'm not going to show you how to build a circle. I use a method um, pioneered by Scottish Rod and I will link his tutorial down below. Before I show you how I got these floors on, I will quickly show you that Firstly, this is how you colour things to get those bright colours. Take this locker, colour it red, and then everything you select afterwards will have that colour. Now these sloping roof panels will just snap on. If you don't want the floors, you can simply slap snap snap on the uh, sloped stone roof panel and do that all the way round. It's up to you, um, but I will show you how I created these panels. Two short walls, two short walls with a power door. All of these short walls are necessary to get the angle and height. I'm just going to create a wire and attach it to the front of the door. Green state, a floor piece, remove all of these and then just add the sloped stone panel like the roof panel if it will go on there we go and yes you do that all the way around 
<laughs> so it's up to you which method you want to do. The walls are just snapped on. I have used these extruded walls under the cap and the top is just another circle. If you don't want to mess with wire glitching then I will show you how I built these ones. They are beginner friendly. Um, I will do a quick build of the small one. The ground is actually very uneven here. I'm going to start with a couple of short walls add a stone floor panel, a square one and then create a hexagon using triangles. Triangles quite often will not, well they're more difficult to snap onto walls so it's easier just to put the square down have some walls and a doorway add a row of now I do have a problem sometimes with these that they do not want to go on the correct way Sometimes they will and sometimes they won't. Normally you can flip them but it's not working. If you put a floor the other side it will allow you to flip it if it's being awkward. Obviously you can put windows, pieces wherever you want. We now need to create another hexagon for the mushroom cap. And because it's bigger, we are going to simply place square floor tiles like so and then fill the gaps in with triangles. This methodology is exactly the same if you want to build a circle. Um, just doing this because it's much quicker to show you. Right, we now need um, the sloping roof panels and I'm going to colour them. I think I'm going to use orange and I will add a stone, the sloped, this sloped stone roof panel and I'm doing it that way because this way I can just duplicate these if I come out of build mode I will lose the colour. Now you may find that these curved pieces do not want to go where there's a triangle. So just add where there are triangles just temporarily add these stone floors and you should be able to snap them on so just go around and add 
add these roofs. We can remove these from the outside, we don't need them now. This small one um, has a very small gap at the top. The way I filled that in was select one of the um, center triangles and replace it with small triangles. You can obviously take these out afterwards. Half wall, half vertical wall, half vertical wall. And we are going to create a hexagon using small triangles. It can be tricky because there are so many snapping points. So just persevere. So there you have it. I think these roofs are really pretty. Um, so if even if you don't want to do any wire glitching or circle building or any of that, I don't think there's anything wrong with these at all. Um, I have not decorated any of these on the inside. However, I did on this little blue one. I took out the upper floor on the inside to create this so that you could actually see the underside of the roof. Getting stairs on these little ones is a bit tricky because the steps do not fit but you could build your own staircase or just have lots of little, have a mushroom farm. It's a bit dark down here <laughs> so that's because it's dark outside now. Wow it's like magic. <laughs> So I hope you have fun building mushrooms with either circles or hexagons. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know down below. That is all from me today. Thank you for watching.